Hello and welcome. My name is Alexa Sheree of Empathic Healing Services located in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Yeah. I'm coming today, which is um, June the 23rd, 2018. Um, yesterday on my Instagram page, I had mentioned I would be speaking uh, precognition. I'm clairvoyance and clairsentience today. And this is what I'm going to talk about today. <laughs> the reason why, the reason why I, I came to talk about these topics is number one, um, before 2012, there is no way, there is no way I would have ever spoken publicly about any of these topics. Number one, the reason why is because I was um, intimidated of what others thought about the topics. People that I knew, people that I didn't know. For some reason, I cared so much about how they felt ab about those type of topics that I didn't talk about it. The reason being, going back further, when I was younger, speaking about it openly as a child, you know, you're so honest and so open that people began to, to look at me differently. And I started to pick up on that. So um, to protect myself, I just went into a mode of just blend with everyone else. Don't talk about it. Just keep it to yourself and life will be great. Well, that wasn't the point whatsoever. Life wasn't that was life wasn't great <laughs> because I didn't talk about it. Actually, it made life harder for me internally. You know, so it's always great to be yourself, who you are, because we are all different. But one thing that we do share are the abilities that I will be speaking of today, which are precognition, clairvoyance, clairsentience. We all possess those abilities and others. Some stronger than others, um, some less than others, but bottom line, we all have the abilities. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull up a little um, slide show for you guys to make it easier to go over what I'm going to speak of. So here we go. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk about precognition. Basically, precognition um, is from is Latin, and it means before. Well, pre means before. We all pretty much know that. And if you don't, you know it now. And cognito or cognition. <laughs> I like to say cognito. Cognition means to acquire knowledge or acquiring knowledge um, it's also referred by future vision future sight so basically a precognition is something that you see before it happens in a sense and I'm, I know you guys have experienced that before um, but maybe you just brushed it off and didn't pay attention to it, which we have a tendency of doing. Precognition, I've had an experience with precognition. The first time I remember that experience, I was, I was um, 14, no I, was, no, I wasn't that old. I was 10 and I um, actually had a dream that my neighbor that I went to school with, that he came to the house when I opened the door um, the sun was very bright. There were um, other children in front of the home playing hopscotch, which children don't do today. But we're not going to talk about that. And he had a gun in his hand, okay? The dream scared me a lot. Next day, there's a knock at the door. Now, this really happened. I open the door. The sun is really bright. And it hits my face. Pow. My schoolmate, the one I dreamt about, is at the front door. There are children playing hopscotch outside of my home. And he has something in his hand. I thought I was going to pass out. For a child to feel that way, <laughs> I thought I was about to die. Basically, he was bringing back my mother's blow dryer that his mom had 
borrowed. I knew nothing about it, but he was bringing it back. Somehow I picked that up in the dream. I guess that could be an example of precognition. Do you have an example you would like to share? If so, go ahead. You can um, visit alexisharae.com and leave us your experience. You will see um, some information on the page called Inward, Outward, and there you can share your experience. We're going to move on to the next one. This one is clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is from a French, um, a French word. And clair means clear, and voyance means vision. Okay, so basically it's the ability to gain information about something, an object, person, location, um, a physical event, um, and how do you receive this information? I don't know. Um, some say it could come through like telepathy. We've all had that experience as well. You knew something before you got the information, maybe someone was going to call you or you wouldn't call them, or maybe you picked up on um, something that you saw in your mind's eye and it actually happened. Yeah, I've had these experience, experiences like forever. But we're not here to talk about what I've experienced. Just wanted to share that I've experienced all of these things. And um, if you would like to share your experience on clairvoyance, please do. You can also do that at alexasheree.com. And we're also going to talk about clairsentience. This is the fillers. I'm a filler. I tend to say, you feel me? Do you feel me or you feel that? Or get what I'm saying? Those are fillers. Um, basically, clairsentience is, <clears throat> it means, again, and this is a French word, and it means clear sensing, like you're sensing, you're picking up on something. Um, excuse me, that's the mailman, very loud. So this is the ability to feel um, physical and emotional states of others. Being that I'm empath, this is very, very, very strong for me. Um... You can also pick up things from inanimate objects as well as animate objects, of course. Buildings, um, outside, a field, a home, an article, like a piece of, you know, clothing, pencil, whatever. Um, and this clairsentience, the sensing, it has nothing to do with your normal five senses whatsoever. The information received, um, it can be from anywhere, any place, any time. And I mean any place, any time. Places you have no knowledge of whatsoever. Basically any dimension in time. Yeah, we'll talk about that stuff at a later date. You can also pick up um, taste, smell, um, temperatures changing in a room maybe it's getting cold or hot or whatever yeah now for those of you who may not have experienced this I would say that you have but you haven't paid attention to it for those of you who have experienced this congratulations and welcome either you are awake or you're awakening so today, this is pretty much all I wanted to speak of. I'm going to come later and we're going to talk deeper into the uh, topics. But in the meantime, if you have any questions or anything like that, you are more than welcome to visit the website. You can also visit the blog, which is inwardoutwardconsult.blogspot.com. And again, my name is Alexa Sheree, and I am with Empathic Healing Services located in Stone Mountain. You guys have a great day and take care, and I hope you enjoyed the video.